Finally, welcome back to Gar's Graveyard Garage. This video is gonna be an interesting one and all over the place. So here we go. What's going on everybody? Sorry it's been a couple weeks, a few weeks since our last video, but a lot has been going on and we've been filming sporadically different things. Just finished filming some stuff today and uh, yeah. So I figured what this video is gonna be, um, a mixture of a little bit of everything from us starting out doing an event at the military base for kids with Zombug to uh, rescuing a car and then finalizing it on a road trip out of town with two of the girls to go uh, see some animals. So yeah, it's, it, it, I hope you enjoy it. Um, and to sum it up, like sands through the hourglass, so are the days of our lives. Yeah, these are the days of our lives. That's a flashback, isn't it? Um, so yeah, a lot's going to be in this video. I'm sorry it's all over the place and sorry it took so long. And uh, yeah, so if you're one of those ones that likes to skip around, you're going to be really confused. I'd suggest you don't skip around. And to those that usually do, I don't film, if you've noticed, on a script and to a standard style. I answer a lot of questions in between, so I get a lot of people messaging me, asking me questions that are answered in videos. And by the questions, I can tell it's they like to just skip. Problem with doing that on my channel is you are going to miss some stuff because there's a lot of stuff in between. If it's a will it run video, yeah, you can see us at the beginning, get it, and at the end, see if it starts. But we jump around in between. There's things that happen. Um, and if Iceman is here, it's gonna be something probably entertaining. Uh, but yeah. But I'll quit rambling. We're gonna start off this episode with uh, us getting in the truck and heading to the military base pulling Zombug and going to entertain some kids. So let's get started. Okay, we get a lot of companies that uh, ask us to review their products. This one's been sitting here for a few months because I haven't really found a good time to actually utilize it, use it and test it. But being that we're about to go... Pre-summer? Yeah, well, we're getting into summer. Um, and we're going somewhere where we could actually use it, where we're going to want drinks to stay cold and maybe snacks or whatever. A bodega 12 volt refrigerator freezer. Um, still in the box. Still in the box. Yeah, it's been sitting here. So we're finally going to open this thing up. Iceman's going to do the honors. Um, but yeah, Bluetooth to your phone's got uh, apparently an app and all kinds of things. Um, we are honest reviewers. No one pays us to say anything good, and I wouldn't be able to do that anyways because I'm too honest. So we're going to try this thing out and see uh, see what it's all about. I think this thing runs like 500 bucks on Amazon. Um, I checked the reviews. The reviews on it are actually really good. So let's find out. We're going to open it up real quick, kind of uh, see what is involved. Uh, a whole it's, lot more unwrapping. It's, it's big. There, yeah, a lot, a lot of more stuff. More unwrapping to do. It's not going nowhere. So, okay, that's that's a positive. It's protected because I've had some items show up <laughs> dented. So that's good. Still in the box. So, 
Let's get this thing unboxed. We'll try it out real quick, see what features it has and all of that. And then uh, we're actually gonna get to field test this thing at the uh, event we're going to tomorrow. So we'll find out uh, how well this thing actually works. So we'll be right back after we get it out of the box. Okay, right off the bat, it's got handles on both sides, which is cool. And I'm digging the, uh, the look. It's like a like an LCD screen, controls, battery protection, compressor speed, uh, some kind of lights, power button. All right, let's open it up and see what's in it. I don't even know where you plug it in. Right there. Well, that's a lot tinier than I thought. No, I guess it's pretty roomy. Take the cage out of it. Yeah. It's not bad. I don't know, uh, what is that? About a foot and a half by two feet, roughly. Huh, okay. Let's see what's in the box. Is that the power cord? Power cord. Sure enough. Well, that's a yes. 110, oh, and a 12 volt. And it came with a book on reading. And we got somebody rolling up on us, so. Commercial break. We'll be <laughs> Commercial right break, we'll be right back. All right, we had this thing plugged in for like 10 minutes and it's already at like 13 degrees. Just turned it up to 30 because we don't want it to freeze. Now we got the uh, app installed where you can control everything. It's got eco and fan speed and everything. But yeah, it's it's already ice cold inside that sucker after 10 minutes. So we got it plugged into uh, the 110 right now. And then uh, we'll just let it sit like that. And then when we throw it in the truck tomorrow, we'll plug it into the cigarette lighter at 12 volts. With extra long cord. Yeah, with a good long cord. And, uh, nice to have. Yeah, and it's very quiet, like surprisingly quiet. I mean, I'm right here and I don't hear this thing. Let's see if I can get down next to it. There's a light, light hum. A while ago, it was really easy. It's, it's very quiet. But, all right. Well, cool. That's a... Uh, Cool, that's like, that for right now yeah it's a cool cooler <laughs> yeah, yeah nothing cooler than a cool good size got a little storage compartment a little basket in it but it'll be good for uh, what we're doing tomorrow we're gonna throw our uh, drinks and gatorades and waters and all that kind of stuff in it and snacks or whatever for the kiddos but uh yeah we'll uh, talk more about it after uh we've field tested it at the uh the event tomorrow and uh then we'll uh, give a uh, a review about it and uh if we like it We'll give you a link on where you can find this thing. Good morning. It's a chilly, wet, rainy morning, and we are actually getting Zombug prepped for an event at, I, I have to be very careful with what I say under instructions from, uh, I guess the government, but we're going to a military base to visit some elementary school kids and they want Zombug there. So whoever gave me the shout out to the school and recommended us, uh, thanks. I'm not sure who it was, but uh, anyways, yeah, the school hit us up and asked us if we'd bring uh, Zombug out for this touch a truck event they're doing um, at the school on a military base. So waiting on Iceman to get here and we have Zombug up on a trailer ish and uh yeah we're getting ready to uh load up and head to san antonio so here we go all right we are on 35 mike's getting a phone call <laughs> i really am <laughs> yeah i know uh heading to the base so uh we'll tune in once we get there because we got traffic and a uh, monster bug and a muppet in the back
I don't know where we are in this video because this video has been like nope, that's two. three. Mike's taking out cones. I got another cone. Those could have been people. Those could have been guests at her wedding. They were cones. <laughs> another 10 points. <laughs> but this, uh, this video has been three weeks in the making. Uh, and it's going to be all over the place. But Literally. we're uh, heading back to the graveyard because made a deal on another vehicle. This one's going to be a fun one for a few reasons. One, will it run? But two, this one is going to be a surprise for the person some of you rag on me for, for ragging on him. Uh, this car is apparently my son-in-law's dream car. So I bartered a deal for this. Uh, we're basically getting the car for free. And uh, we're going to do a will it run. And it's going to be a surprise for my son-in-law since it's his dream car. So all of you that keep getting on to me for being mean to my son-in-law, it's all fun and games. Because so if I didn't like him, I wouldn't be giving him a free car. All I'd be, fun and games if somebody gets a car. I'd be, yeah, it's all fun. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if I didn't like him, I'd be charging him for the car. So, all right, we're uh, gonna head on out here, and hopefully, there's uh, it's not not too muddy, and uh, we can get the car out without getting stuck or rutting up the uh, the gentleman's driveway. If we do, we'll get it on video. Yeah, we'll. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's it's us together, so something's probably gonna happen. The, a, the a and the B are in the truck. <laughs> yeah, yeah, A and B are in the truck see what's gonna happen next oh, good one. <laughs> all right we'll tune back in when we get there and uh, figure out if we can get this thing out of the mud okay it took us a good hour to uh, get this thing loaded uh we needed too much work to uh, film it but there it is you guys probably remember it from one of the other videos where we showed it but i don't even yeah, i haven't even checked what year it is it's a 90 or 90 92 somewhere in there but it's supposed to be the uh, v8 model Interior is kind of rough, but the body, I think it's actually going to clean up pretty good. Um, there was lug nuts missing and it was buried in the mud up to the bottom of the doors. But we finally got it on the trailer. And his little mechanism for running the winch got wet, so we had to open it up and dry it out so it would start working. So we did that, <laughs> slap it a few times. But uh, all right, we're getting ready to lug this thing back to the house and try and get it off. So right, we'll be back again. Getting ready to rig the snatch block. And Mr. Fisherman Iceman over here <laughs> is gonna fish the cable under the car with his fishing pole. <laughs> yes, he is. <laughs> I'm gonna get that five pound back. Uh, you went under. <laughs> Wasn't sure how the first shot was gonna go. <laughs> <laughs> water, water. I must, I must stand back over a here. Shot of water that time. <laughs> yeah, it's. Oh, you also, you're not gonna be able to do it. There's actually a block. Look. Uh, can I hit it right there? Yeah, there's a that wind guard underneath there. I right, will have to do this the old-fashioned way then. Yeah, we're just gonna have to fish it. Probably easier on the other side. It's a little higher. I take my gloves off for this one. <laughs> You, what, I, I meant just just reach under there and do it. I didn't mean to with a fishing pole. <laughs> reach under and do what? Bre the line. Just run, fish it behind the wheel and behind the wheel, and then. That's gonna happen. But it's on the other side anyway. <laughs> yeah. Well, switch sides. It, it, well, here <laughs> I can hold the camera and a fishing pole. <laughs> it was a good idea. But <laughs> it would work better. If... All right. Let me get the camera mounted so we can see if we can uh, do this. Turn that wheel. I was pulling it. Yeah, no, but <laughs> we're aiming straight for the corner of this trailer. Mm -hmm. God, we really need to just that. Oh, uh, open the trunk and crawl in and turn the wheel. I don't know if the trunk opens. I don't even. Wait, you don't even need the key anyway. Do you? I don't know if it's got a button. No. Oh, yeah. That's it's key. It's key. It's not already open, is it? Oh! oh. <laughs> Check before you pry. <laughs> Hang on, it may need a stick to hold it up. Yeah, let me get a... Leave something? Yeah, because I don't want to get in here and cook. <laughs> don't do it on the glass. Do it back here. Yeah, there we go. 
All right, Skinny. Yeah. <laughs> what are you talking about? You and I are about the same. Yeah, but someone's got to run the remote. <laughs> oh, it's hot in here. I bet. Yeah, let me open the door for you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> good, good jokes today. Nope. Come on. Nope. It's just a window. Nope. Right. Oh, my God. Let's hit the brake pedal, see if we got brakes. No. Hit the go pedal, that's the one we need. Brakes are froze. <laughs> Which way? Left? More, more, a little bit. Wait, what was that? I don't know. Hurry, I'm sweating already. Well, it fell off one, but it worked. What? It fell off one, but it worked. <laughs> one stayed back here, that one stayed hooked, but. Well, that's the one I thought was gonna stay because it, it had weight on it. Yeah, no, that one stayed. <laughs> stayed in the air. <laughs> get jacked up and <laughs> get that out of there. Okay, we've got the fire turkey up in the carport. We used a Loretta to push it up in here and uh get it kind of hidden uh got my other daughter who you guys haven't met yet she's another member of the graveyard family and uh you'll get to meet her in this video because we're doing a uh daddy daughter's retreat thing where i'm gonna make sure they can't hear me I'm surprising them and taking them out of town. Uh, we're going to a wildlife park where we're going to interact with like some monkeys and sloths and crocodile and anyways, a bunch of other animals. I think a tiger. Uh, so I'm surprising them with that. So I'm taking both of them out of town. Ooh, Ferrari. Uh, taking them out of town. This weekend, we're gonna go do that. So I'm gonna catch footage of that also. But long story short on this daughter you haven't met, her name is Victoria. She goes by Tori. She's not blood related to me. She is Vivian's half sister. Her donor was not a good person. Uh, prison likes kids in the wrong way. You get the picture? Um, when I moved uh, her and her mom down here, my ex, my oldest daughter's mom, uh, moved them down here, she basically asked me to be her daddy. And I said yes. So, in the process of adopting her and going to be her daddy, she calls me dad, I call her my kid. And she'll probably be popping up on here more because she's getting interested in the car scene, which is awesome. So you're gonna get to meet her on this trip and this video. And uh, yeah, so she's the one who just helped me move the uh, Loretta, and, or move the fire turkey out of the way. So that's where we are. Um, gonna take some time now and get everything prepped because my son-in-law has no idea what's going on and we have to basically con him into showing up over here. And if he doesn't, well, I'm just going to keep the car because I like it. But I'm pretty sure his wife, my daughter, will talk him into it. Uh, she can be pretty convincing. <laughs> but, uh, all right. Uh, oh, I guess update on Thanos real quick. We've been calling him Thanos because he's a <laughs> infinity stone. Yeah, nerd joke. But engine is in. Uh, yeah. It's just now a matter of hooking everything back up. But it's mounted, it's married back to the transmission, torque converter's hooked up, starter's hooked up. It's just now all of this. So that's where we are on this. Like I said before, this video is all over the place, and these are the days of our lives. So we'll see how it goes uh, all over the place from 
military base with kids to surprising son-in-law with a car and uh, the daddy-daughter trip this weekend. This is just an all-over-the-place video and I uh, hope you guys like it. <laughs> uh, this is kind of uh, what our lives are like behind the scenes, more or less the things we get into. Uh, nothing really dedicated in this. So, all right, I'll quit rambling because I've got things to do. So we'll tune back in in a couple hours when the son-in-law shows up. Hi. <laughs> yeah, she's here. She's showing <laughs> up in this video. So she just showed up and the son-in-law. <laughs> So, all right, um, well, we brought him over here to have a talk with him about something very important. It's, uh, it's, uh, yeah, I got you something. <laughs> it's over there. Careful. Trash can. Go, Go on, get. It's in front of the avalanche. Go on, get. Oh. <laughs> Language. Oh, man. <laughs> I got that for you today. That's all yours. <laughs> I'm going to have fun. <laughs> you got him to show emotion. <laughs> I know. I was like, he never shows emotion. I wonder if he's actually going to show emotion. I love Pontiac. It's a 1990 model and this is supposed to be, we haven't got the hood open yet, but this is supposed to be the V8. <laughs> and it's an automatic. Yeah, it's all. And it's an automatic, yeah. I wish it, it kind of was the standard, stick so, you can but, learn. Uh, so I can learn, but. But look, I mean, look at it. It's been sitting, it's been off the road for 20 years. 20 years. But look at this. I mean, it's just. It's immaculate in there. I can already see well, it. Well, it's, it's okay. It's, but look at this. <laughs> That's a really good door. Yeah. It's dirty. Um, we think some crackheads might have got in here. But this is the only seat that's torn up. That seat has had a cover on it. I looked underneath it. It's actually nice. The back seats are nice. The headliner, we can take that out and redo it. That's, it's, that's an easy headliner. Oh, yeah. But the plastics, everything is in here. It's all kind of thrown in here. Uh, the steering wheel. 141,000 miles. Yeah, 141,000 original miles. Um, we need to find the wheels. Uh, they, they're all mismatched, so we're going to try and find the Firebird wheels for this unless you want to get some custom rims. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, you said that was one of your dream cars, so I, uh, I made a negotiation and got it. <laughs> it's going to be so much fun. <laughs> oh, you have to do the work. That's fine. I can do well, that. Well, we're all going to do the work because oh, yeah. we got to do a will it run on this. It, it came with keys, oh, but... Wow. It looks like maybe some crackhead oh, tried breaking into it, even though the keys were in it. <laughs> uh, the only body it work it needs is there's a little bitty dent in the front right fender, and this nose we might have to replace this nose piece, maybe. But it's busted up kind of underneath because it's low. Yeah. I don't know. We haven't, we haven't got the hood open yet. <laughs> we're gonna, but we're gonna go through it. Is it a... <laughs> Have you tried the latch? Yeah, we've tried the latch. We were tugging on it, yanking on it, because we were trying to get the windows down. We were going to hook up a battery. It's just very, very I stuck. Hear it when you, pull it too. you might keep. I don't know if you can get it open. That'd be awesome. Actually, I tell you what, we're going to try and get this hood open real quick because yeah, we want to find out. Well, we're going to we're going to fight with it. Let me just put the camera down for a minute and let's see if we can get it open. Sure. But we'll we'll open this together and see what's underneath the hood. So be right back. Okay, we've been fighting with this thing. He got under it. She was pulling on the cord. We had pry bars. It finally gave. So let's find out what's under this thing. Oh, that's heavy. There's no hydraulics. Oh, whoa, whoa. <laughs> it is a V8. It smells like fuel. Oh, here we go. Let's see what we got. Where's your Where's your light? Oh. No way. Is that Does that say what I think it says? Five oh, five oh. Okay, so it's a three oh or yeah, three oh uh, three three oh five. Um. Wow, that's uh. Rusty. 
Water pump still spins. Alternator is stuck. AC is stuck. Everything else is moving. Is it staying up on its own? No. no. <laughs> All right, so we do need some hood hydraulics. Look at the mount of that nest. Yeah. Okay. But everything, somebody tied into the wiring right there. I don't know what they were doing. Somebody was doing, oh, this is throttle body injection. Somebody took the throttle body. That's not good. Yeah, somebody took them because here's the, uh, that's where the injectors. Mm. I don't, oh, it's probably this, top of this. I don't know. Yeah, somebody, somebody was in here messing around. So it means, will that stay? Uh, I'm putting my head under there if you're gonna put that against something. <laughs> No, put it against something. No, don't put it against it. Don't put it against that. You'll bust that. Is there a screw or anything under there? <laughs> I had it in a good spot. <laughs> do it. No, do it up on on here, on here. Yeah, let me see. <laughs> do it here where that won't slip, and then let it down slowly. Okay. Oh yeah, these hydraulics are good. All right, so we need to find a throttle body. So it's got throttle body injection. Is that a tank top? It's, I don't. It looks like it's a skirt. Like a, it's from. Or, or is that an top. apron? That's a top. That's somebody's top? That's a kid's. Oh, it is a kid's top. Oh, oh, okay. I That's, that on my child. they probably had that over the. Yeah, daddy long wig. The port. Oh yeah, you'll probably see a crap ton of them in here. Okay, well. Um, Need an oil cap. It's right yeah. there. Uh, huh? No, that's for the breather tube that goes to the bottom of this. Okay, I felt dumb for a second. <laughs> okay, well, it does have the uh, 305, so you got a V8 in this little sucker. Side post or... It's side post. Where's the ground cable? Uh, you don't have a right hole there. in your washer reservoir. Oh, there it is. The washer reservoir is solid. It's uh, still holding washer fluid. W really? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> yeah, there's washer fluid in there. <laughs> or it's just stained. The brakes are stuck right now. Nope, no, there's washer fluid in there. Careful, don't knock that off the top of the master cylinder. <laughs> Why are you getting a pain in my butt? It has not been off in a very long time. It's plastic. <laughs> yeah, but that rubber seal under it's probably stuck. Oh, yeah. I'm not touching it. Yeah, we'll, right. we'll get to that later. Okay, we just kind of need to make a note of what we need. Um... The coil we did find inside the car. It's laying on the seat. We can test it and see if it's good. The throttle body, somebody stole that for something. And then we need to figure out what they did in the wiring back there. <laughs> what is that? And that. A uh, spark plug wire? Is it? Yes. Yeah. Uh, okay. Don't knock anything down that intake. <laughs> All right. Well, we got a good start. Everything's pretty much there. Yep, that alternator, we can probably, it'll probably yeah. loosen up. More than makes. No, all the parts for this are very cheap. That's basically the same engine they used to stick in the uh, early, the trucks. The, they put that 305 with that throttle body in it. Huh? You named it. Well, what's her name? Ruby. You named her Ruby. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he agreed, did. he liked it. <laughs> I liked it. He would tell me no if he didn't like it. So she's a grapefruit. <laughs> I like grapefruit. Like the gym. The what? The gym. The diamond ruby. Oh, that kind of ruby. Ruby. Oh, I immediately the went to. In the rough, I immediately went to ruby red grapefruit. No, diamond <laughs> in the rough ruby. Well, we will see. She was sunk in the mud. <laughs> yes, she was. <laughs> All right. Well, that's cool. At least we got that open. We'll uh, leave this partially open and get all these needles out of here. Oh, cedar. What is that? Is there a part? Yeah, there's a bolt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we need to be careful going through this. Yeah, so no and then, uh, the yeah, we need to work on that. You can tell it's been sitting a long time. This used to be a red rag. Hey, Dad, what's this? What? A bottle right here. These are for the headlights. Oh, okay. Let's 
isn't it to... Is that the adjuster? Or? Yeah. yeah, it should be. Okay. Yeah. It should be. Oh, so there's a way to test those. If you turn it, it'll... Will that let you know if it opens or not? Well, I don't know. I don't think so. Well, it's moving. Yeah. There you go. Wait. No, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> maybe not. <laughs> I haven't messed with automatic headlights like that in a long time. <laughs> I love those. Kind of want to uh, just stick a battery in it and see if it uh, wakes up. The lights. Play, well, the lights and just kind of see what it does. Um, I don't know if I don't have a side post. Is it a side post? Yeah, it is side post. I have one side post, but it the swamp thing melted it <laughs> when a cable so arced. Have the screw unless that's the screw for it. No. No, it's not. <laughs> It doesn't even have a screw for it on this one. On the yeah, positive. it might be down in there somewhere. If not, uh, we can find one. Yeah, I can see one anywhere. All right, well, somebody's gone through and taken a few parts, but, I mean, all the important stuff is here, except for the <laughs> throttle body. <laughs> so we just need to find you a throttle body. Too bad we got rid of Robin, because that was the throttle body you needed. <laughs> and we know it worked, because it drove. Okay, at least now no one can say dad doesn't like you. <laughs> yeah, you hear that? <laughs> Fun and games. Is that a thermostat? What? Is that right there? No, that's EGR valve. Thermostat's under here. Oh, okay, yep. Yeah. yeah, that's your EGR valve. It does kind of look like one, though. All right, well, I guess we're going to... Uh, move on to the next thing which uh, will be us leaving in the morning and heading out of town and we'll close out the video with that and then I'll give you a uh, brief update and uh, we'll fill you in on that uh, bodega cooler that refrigerator that we used at the military deal because yeah we actually like it but I'll talk more about it whenever we close out this video so we'll be back uh, at some point tomorrow when we're leaving all right we are on the road to the place I can't mention yet because they don't know where we're going but hey this is Tori you finally get to meet her say hi Hi. <laughs> and then we got the little one in the back seat we are on the road we uh, stopped part way up here in uh, Comfort Texas to our destination and showed the girls where I went to high school so yeah we're sitting in front of my old high school which is now a middle school but uh, yeah we're about to get back on the road and head up that way and we'll tune back in and I'll try and uh, catch their reaction when they see where we're going, because I think I think they're gonna like it. All right, we're about to pull up to this place here in just a second, so we can get a reaction. I think this is it. <laughs> yeah, it should be it right here. <laughs> they don't really tell you where to go, do they? I guess they do not. <laughs> oh, that's pretty. Oh, uh, looky here. What do we got right here? <gasps> oh my goodness. Look, 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 look. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, look, it's a lion. That's a lion. It's a freak. <laughs> Can I pet it? Uh, Y'all are in for quite the experience. It's probably gonna bite me. It's, it's almost. Bite me. It's, so cute. <laughs> it's almost time to feed the kids to the cats. I mean, go pet the cats. No, uh, feed the cat to the dad. Feed the dad to the cat. <laughs> All right, we'll tune back in when we get inside. Kitty. <laughs>
Did y'all have fun with that? Yes. yes. <laughs> All right, we just wrapped up playing with animals and now we're gonna go try and find the cabin we're staying in, I think next town over. So we'll uh, tune back in when we get over there and we'll see where we're staying. Uh, here's the view from our little cabin down here in Ingram, Texas. But it's a pretty cute little place. Kids found the hammock. <laughs> Give you a quick little tour of this place. Little outside coffee maker. There's a Tory. <laughs> Refrigerator, microwave, Cups. beds for the kids. The beauty bed for me, that's what Riley called it. We got blue accent lights. <laughs> what? Oh, yeah, great. Play with the lights. Yeah. Just don't put it in uns uns mode and we'll be all right. I caught you, Dad. No bathroom inside. What are you doing? <laughs> but our little backyard, which is cute, little seating area, little fire pit. But this uh, bathroom cracks me up. <laughs> just a shower where the water just kind of runs outside and a compost toilet. So we're halfway roughing it, I guess you could say. But no, oh, it's a cute little place. There's a couple little cabins around here. Um, yeah, interesting close out to our evening, I guess, uh, after playing with animals. Watch out. <gasps> you watch out. <laughs> so, oh, another hammock over here. But yeah, yeah no, it's a pretty view. But all right, I guess we're gonna uh, get all settled in and then we'll probably tune back in uh, in the morning or tomorrow at some point and uh, probably get to wrapping up this video so we can get it posted. So I uh, guess we will talk to you tomorrow. See, I told you we were all over the place. Um, we're back. We made it back home from uh, Mountain Home, Texas, Ingram, Texas, Kerrville, Texas, Comfort, Texas, everywhere we stopped at along the way. And uh, it was fun. I'm worn out. Um, didn't sleep a whole lot, which happens when you're in a little tiny cabin with two girls. So, but I woke up to some snuggles and that was nice. And then we had a nice little breakfast, got on the road and headed back. So we are back and uh, that's gonna wrap up this video. Now, before I forget, the uh, Bodega Refrigerator. The thing is actually awesome. We used it all day. We left it in the truck, plugged into the cigarette lighter, kept our drinks at about, I think, 15 degrees. So we had cold drinks all day and it connects to your phone too. So your phone tells you what the thing is doing. You can also put it in like eco mode and control uh, different settings and whatnot. So it's actually very cool. And in fact, I'm going to, there's not a lot of products we get sent that I support, but I do support this one. So I am gonna put a link in the description if you want to check them out and get yourself one. Uh, pretty cool little unit. And we're definitely gonna use the heck out of it. Um, gotta get back on Thanos this week. I've gotta help Iceman fix his trailer because it broke again. Uh, he abuses that poor thing, so we're constantly working on it. And then we've got to jump back into our normal routine, and I've been picking up a few customers on the side working on their thing, so if you saw it in the footage, you might have seen it in the footage, there's a livestock trailer out front. I'm servicing his trailer. It's a customer that lives down the road. Uh, but yeah, it's kind of where, uh, where we are. There's just been a lot of stuff going on, and we didn't film everything going on because there's yeah it's been it's been chaotic especially during that spring break week when the kid was stuck here with me i had to keep her entertained so but uh i really hope you enjoyed this video we had a lot of fun making it um it was nice to kind of escape the garage a little bit and uh and then also throw my son-in-law off and surprise him with a with his one of his dream cars um, that's going to be a fun project and we're starting to uh check around see if we can find parts to get that finished and yeah the uh, contest that I spoke about in the uh, last video where we're giving away that uh, stereo Android unit for uh, car, truck, RV, whatever, boat, wherever you want to put it, um, is going to be posted on Facebook. 
I think this coming week there will be a post about it and in the comments is where you'll basically enter and the details will be in the uh, description on the post of how to enter. Basically, uh, I'll give you a little hint. Get you at least something from the merch store. I don't care if you order a sticker. And be prepared to take a photograph because this, uh, it's gonna be a lot of fun. I have a lot of you that send me pictures uh, with our merch, wearing your merch or sporting stickers on your trucks or whatever you're doing. And we love seeing it. So we came up with the idea of, uh, well, show off your merch. We wanna see what you got. So we're gonna have you guys post pictures. And uh, like I said, I'll put more details in the Facebook post whenever we do that this coming week. And we'll get that contest underway. And we'll run it for probably, I don't know, 30 days. And at the end of 30 days, uh, picking a winner, gonna do something a little different. I'm gonna let the little one pick the winner. That way it's fair, because you know kids are bluntly honest. So we're gonna let the kid pick her favorite post. So. I think with her, it's going to be get creative, get her attention, uh, especially with uh, the, the merch and how you take your photo. But uh, okay, going to wrap this up. I am worn out and uh, I've got to go edit what you're watching right now. So I'm going to hop in there, take care of the girls, get this edited, and then probably take a much needed nap. And then I got to go take my mom her car back because I didn't trust driving my truck that far with the tires it's got. So I swapped out with mama. Took her a uh, little 2020 Blazer, which was good on gas and actually a nice little, nice little drive. So we will uh, be seeing you hopefully again. Won't take as long to do the next video. We'll get it posted hopefully next week with what we do next. And uh, we will be seeing you then.